Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have Linux Mint 22.1. It was released a few days ago and this is the Mate version. And I'm really excited to show it off to you guys. And so without further ado, let's just dive right in. All right, so welcome to Linux Mint. This is what you get after you install the operating system. This is your beautiful Linux Mint wallpaper and you get greeted by the welcome screen. So welcome to your new operating system. The welcome screen will guide you through your first steps and show you uh, show you how to find help, where to get more information about Linux Mint. So let's just go through the first steps. Now, the first thing of all are the desktop colors. So let's just launch that. And as you can see, this is Mate, so this is going to be a little bit different from Cinnamon, which is what you would normally expect from uh, Linux Mint. Of course, my favorite is Cinnamon, but Mate is very good. And for those people who miss Mate, this is a fantastic rendition apart from Ubuntu uh, Mate edition. So let's just go through it. You got different colors. So uh, green, blue, mint, aqua, uh, L brown, L dark. Uh, let's just go ahead and put it to dark mode. I really love that. Uh, oh wow, it looks better already. And it's pretty good. You got mint L orange, mint L dark sand, teal, uh, mint L darker. I never really understood the difference between dark and darker. Maybe this is the difference, like this button. Buttons like these would not be completely black. Anyway, these are Mint X, these are older ones, and yeah, these are pretty good. Let's just move ahead and go to background. So we do get tons of backgrounds. I generally reserve backgrounds for the end of the video, but uh, if they're here, then might as well just talk about it. All right, so wow, we got tons of backgrounds. You know what, we're, we're gonna go ahead and pick one. What about this? Oh, I, I really like, I really love this. This is amazing. This is good too. I mean, Linux Mint has always been fantastic when it comes to backgrounds, especially uh, especially the, the Cinnamon version. It has way more backgrounds, but this is a good collection as well. I'm not sure if all of the backgrounds that are available in uh, the Cinnamon edition are over here, but uh, I mean, the collection in here isn't exactly bad. It's wonderful. And I always love Linux Mint for the variety of wallpapers that they provide. And these are just amazing. Now, what I think I'm going to stick to for this video is this wallpaper. I think it looks really good. This one looks really good too, but uh, I think this uh, would be a better thumbnail. So I'm gonna pick this for the video. Anyway, let's just move ahead to fonts. So we have application, document font, desktop font, standard things and interface. So we got icons in the menus show icons on buttons, file chooser. You can choose to show hidden items or you could disable that, whatever you want to. That's okay for the desktop colors. We uh, showed you a little bit more than colors, but whatever. And next comes the system snapshots. So suppose uh, you are making your computer, you're setting up your computer for somebody who doesn't exactly, who isn't exactly familiar with Linux, or maybe you yourself are uh, super conscious about not wanting to break your system, you are uh, working on something critical, or uh, I mean, you just want safety, right? So what you would do is you would set up as our sync, you would finish the process, and this would take backups of your system, and you can restore the backups from whichever time slot that you wanted to. This is pretty awesome, and uh, this has saved countless of countless lives. Now you also get driver manager for installing drivers and multimedia codecs to play uh, your favorite movies. So now before we go ahead to update manager, system settings and software manager, I just wanna give you a brief overview of Linux Mint Mate. So this, as you can see at the bottom is the task manager. You can go ahead and you can edit it. So I guess about panels, the, this is the Mate panel go to properties and you can change a few things. To the left, we have the button, the menu button, and you have computer home folder, a few of the most used places. And under system, you got software manager, control center, lock screen, logout, quit. You have different apps neatly categorized into accessories, graphics, internet, office, as you can see, LibreOffice is here, sound and video, you got celluloid, hypnotics, uh, which you can use to watch TV. It's, it's a pretty cool software, very good. I liked it. I like, I like it so much administration preferences you have so much things over here 
And then under favorites, you have Firefox, Mail Client. I believe this list is editable. So this is pretty good. And towards your right, you do get the ethernet button. So this is in a virtual machine. So it shows this as being a wired connection, even though I am on Wi-Fi. This is, I don't know why there are two, but it's supposed to be one actually. And then you have the calendar. You also get a button for location. So you can see uh, the daytime is in America right now. And over in India where I am, it's completely dark because it's very late at night and you can go to clock preferences. You can change the hour format. I like to keep it at 12 hour format and locations, weather. You could do a lot of stuff over here. That's pretty good. Now let's go back to the welcome screen and we're going to talk about the update manager. Update manager is actually a pretty, pretty powerful place in Linux Mint. And this is this is just this just makes your life so much easier and better that you can't even imagine. So like an update manager, it applies security updates to patch vulnerabilities. It applies software updates to fix bugs in your bugs in your computer. And it also sets up system snapshots to protect yourself from mistakes and regressions. If anything breaks, simply restore the last snapshot. Now, Linux Mint recommends to set up automated system snapshots like I showed you and to apply all available updates. This way, your computer is always secure and you can go back in time and recover from any potential regression. And once you click OK, it's going to start checking for updates and uh, you never you don't actually need to use a local mirror. So I just click no, your system is updated, is up to date right now. And what you could do is you can also go in here and change kernels. So, for example, right now we are Let's just go to terminal. We can check what our kernel is. Uh, so you're on the uh, 6.8 kernel. This I guess is based on the Ubuntu uh, latest stable kernel, whatever they're using right now. And but what it could do is you could actually, uh, this is a warning message. You could just not display this again, continue. And you could choose a latest kernel uh, to be able to play games. Uh, let's just talk about some of the things that are new this time around inside the update manager. So the update manager now has much improved package management, multi-threading and multi-processing. So these changes represent a significant step towards a smoother and more future-proof experience with the many tools which rely on package management. Apart from this, what Linux Mint team has done is that they went ahead and transitioned to aptkit and captain. Uh, they actually modernized a lot of the APT dependencies and that was actually very good. I'm not gonna go into many of the details, but what they did is, uh, like captain replaces GW or apt URL with better translations and, lo and lots of less bugs. And the benefits of this transition are that it has better translations, improved quality. So Mint ensures fewer bugs and paper cuts, small bugs can be addressed and they're no longer considered as upstream or worth fix or won't fix, sorry. You also get a simplified architecture. So moving to aptkit allowed the software sources to downgrade foreign packages graphically and no longer rely on a VTE, which is pretty good. In the update manager, it empowered us to boost to Wayland compatibility and modernize the multi-threading and multi-processing code, which we're getting very old. This is just the one that I talked about. And it also paves the way for easier development if you are interested. So rather than constantly patching release after release, uh, we just developed the features we needed and relied on libraries that fully support what we need. Now I'm reading this off the Linux Mint official page. That's why I'm saying this is we and not they. Uh, it may sound weird, but I just said this to you. All right, now while I understand these changes are mostly invisible to everyday users, but in the background, this does these do help a lot to maintain uh, the functionality and the smooth workingness of an operating system. Now we can go to system settings. So let's just have a quick dive into this system setting. Control center is always one of my favorite places. And inside Mate, you can see it's very neatly organized. And I really love this thing. So under administration, you get backup tool, driver manager, which we already talked about. You can install Linux Mint. You have the login window. What do you have inside the login window? So you can change the themes. You can change the background. You can allow for manual login, hide the user list. I mean, this is very extensive. I'm not going to stay here for an entire day because if I had that much time, this would take that much amount of time. It's just so uh, it's not convoluted. It has a lot of things, but it's so easy to find everything and you can search for it as well. So you can filter based on what you need. So everything is just very easy to find. You want to go ahead and add a printer. You just go ahead and add a printer. That's pretty good. Time and date. Everything is just there. Uh, everything is just very handy. 
uh, I changed the display resolution to 1920 by 1080 from under displays. And as you can see, everything is just very handy, beautifully organized. And one of the things that are new this time around is actually power management. So we do get uh, profiles. So for example, we do get power saver and uh, balanced mode and performance mode if that's available on your particular system inside power management preferences. But that's actually graphically available only in Cinnamon. And for uh, the others, like for XFCE and Mate, like we are on right now, we have to use the terminal. I know this is a little bit unfortunate, but if you really need it, we can uh, do it like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type a little command. We're gonna type, uh, power profile CTL. We're going to set space, set power saver. And we can do this. So we can either set it to power saver, we can set it to balanced, or we can set it to performance. And you hit enter, and this is how you can change the power profiles on your Linux Mint, Mate, and XFCE system. Now, if you were in Cinnamon, this would have been available to you graphically from inside power management. It's a little bit unfortunate that this isn't here, but at least you can do the thing. Now, let's just go ahead and talk about Software Manager for a second. Now, I believe this is gonna take a little bit of time to generate cache, download everything that it needs. But in the meantime, we can go ahead and look at some of the other things. So for example, for graphics, you get drawing, uh, a simple drawing utility, you get document scanner, uh, pics to view and organize your images inside Office like we already saw, LibreOffice Writer, so that would be pretty good. Let's just check the version number that we have for these. So LibreOffice Writer, you get tips. We don't really need tips. And as you can see, pretty much everything is available. Yeah, pretty good. Well, let's go to help about LibreOffice. So we are on 24.2.7.2 LibreOffice community. And uh, as you can see, we do get system settings. I mean, the system information over here as well. And we're not gonna save it. And now we are inside Software Manager. So Software Manager, as you can see, pretty good looking. I mean, you'll be familiar with Linux Mint Software Manager if you are a long time user or even a recent user. And <clears throat> I do believe that it looks a little bit dated, but I mean, that's not a knock on this. It's completely there when it comes to functionality. Everything is available. So you do get some things, some of the cards in featured. If you go to multiple categories, you can go to, uh, for example, let's say sound and video, and you get everything from Audacious, Audacity, Clementine, SM Player, Mumble, whatever you need, VLC, you can just go ahead and download it. And you also get top rated. So these are top rated apps. I haven't used many of them, to be very honest, apart from Firefox, Darktable, Bitwarden as a password manager. And these are pretty cool. Krita, good for painting. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about Krita. So yeah, this is a pretty good software manager. Uh, if you come over here, you can change the software sources. So this is the official repositories, PPAs, additional repositories, authentication keys, and maintenance. So all that is pretty good. And inside preferences, you do have search in packages summary, slower search. So if you don't know the exact name, even if you provide a summary, uh, this is going to be perfectly fine. I don't know why it ran away, but here we are. And search in packages description. So this will go through the entire package description and so this is gonna be an even slower search, but this is helpful if, uh, for example, oops, I accidentally crossed it out. Software manager. Dude, I had it over here. Why did I have to search? I don't know, but anyway. Uh, let's just say we're going to open VLC and this is the description. So it's going to search in the entire description and it's going to tell you uh, if you don't know that this is VLC, you just, I don't know, you typed in something like video player or whatever, or maybe you said network sources. So it will search this too and it will give you the app in the search results. So that's pretty good. It's a system package and you can install this. That's Pretty good, you can see screenshots, reviews, details, all that is great. 
So yeah, I think uh, with that, we almost come to the end of the video. Linux Mint is a great operating system. It's going to be supported until 2029. As you saw, the kernel was. So uh, you're going to be very happy with this. They're going to be supported. The team's going to support this. Warpinator, beautiful app. I just saw it. Uh, you can connect it to your phone. You can send files to and fro from your phone. That's pretty good. I mean, Linux Mint overall, fantastic piece of software, fantastic operating system for pretty much everybody. And uh, try Lin try the Cinnamon Edition, try the Mate Edition, try XFCE, see which one makes you feel better, uh, which one suits you, and just go for it. I mean, if you love Mate, if you are uh, old school like that, uh, I definitely love Mate, uh, even though, but I'll admit I like the Mate on Ubuntu a little bit better than the one on Linux Mint. That's just my preference but mate has been beautifully customized over here to make in, to make the look uh like cinnamon uh and it's beautiful i love linux mint how it looks how it feels how it functions it's amazing this is nemo uh the desktop file manager and yeah i mean nothing bad to say about it it's a fantastic operating system you're never going to be uh in bad hands when you're using linux mint so with that we come to the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one. Peace.